Good morning, friends. Miss Sydney is here with Wednesday's virtual story time with the Ida Public Library. It is a brand new month today. Do you know what month this begins today? Yeah, it's April. So happy April 1st. When we look outside in my neighborhood, I can see a blue sky, I see green grass. It definitely looks like springtime today. And in the springtime, lots of different animals and plants start to change and become a little different. So our theme today is life cycles. And we are gonna talk about the life cycle of a caterpillar. Be sure to check the comments after this video because I have a bunch of resources that I'm gonna share with you today, different activities that you can do with your family that all talk about life cycles um, and the science of different animals and plants changing in the springtime. So our book, I bet some of my friends recognize this one, it's The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. There's a shining sun. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Do you see him over there? He's so tiny. He started to look for some food. Take a look at these foods. What kind of food is that? Is he going to eat pizza? No, is he going to eat cereal? No, he's looking for fruits, isn't he? On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. <gasps> On Tuesday, he ate through one, two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges. Do you think he's full? He's still hungry. Oh, look at all these things. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. How do you feel, friends, if you ate all this food in one day? I think your belly might hurt a little. How do you think my friend is feeling? Yeah, that night he had a tummy ache. Poor caterpillar. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Oh, good. <gasps> Take a look at our caterpillar. What happened to him? He got really big. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. And he wasn't hungry. He was a big, fat caterpillar now. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole. He pushed his way out. Make a prediction, friends. What do you think is going to happen? And he was a beautiful butterfly. Look at all the colors on his wings. So the caterpillar started off in an egg. And then he popped out of the egg and was super hungry. So he ate and he ate and he ate and he ate until he got big and fat, right? Then he wrapped himself up in a cocoon. When he came out, he had changed. He was a butterfly. That's called the life cycle of this caterpillar. He changed throughout his life. So we're gonna sing a little song about the life cycle of a caterpillar to help you remember all those things the caterpillar can change into. So lay one hand out like this. We're gonna pretend this is the little leaf for our caterpillar. And then our finger is gonna be our caterpillar. Ready? There's a little caterpillar on a leaf. Wiggle, wiggle. There's a little caterpillar on a leaf. Wiggle, wiggle. A little caterpillar. There's a little caterpillar. A little caterpillar on a leaf. Wiggle, wiggle. He's feeling hungry. What should he do? Get your munching hands ready. 
He'll munch all the leaves he can find. Munch, munch. He'll munch all the leaves he can find. Munch, munch. He'll munch over here. He'll munch over there. He'll munch all the leaves he can find. Munch, munch. All right. He's full. He's ready to wrap himself up when a butterfly makes that house around themselves. It's called a chrysalis. So we're going to put our hands tight together like this. Very good. He makes a chrysalis for his home. Spin. Spin your chrysalis. He makes a chrysalis for his home. Spin. Spin. A chrysalis is home. A chrysalis is home. He makes a chrysalis for his home. He's sleeping inside. It's been two weeks. It's time to come out. Make your hands this. What did he become? A butterfly. You could do it like this too. Fly, butterfly, fly away. Flap, flap. Fly, butterfly, fly away. Flap, flap. Fly, butterfly. Fly, butterfly. Fly, butterfly, fly away. Flap, flap. Have your butterfly fly way up in the sky. Good job, boys and girls. Big thumbs up. So like I said, I've got a lot of cool ideas that you can do at your house that talk about caterpillars and butterflies, as well as some resources and some links to websites that have really cool stuff that you could print out or recreate at home. So the first activity that I have is making your own butterfly. My kindergartner and I made our own butterflies. Hers was pink. Mine was kind of a rainbow color. We used a paper towel. So you can draw with any washable markers on a paper towel, make any pattern you want, and then spray it with some water or dribble some water on it really gently. And the colors will kind of blend together like butterfly wings. And then you punch the middle together, squish it, and you can use a clothespin to make your butterfly body. Or if you have pipe cleaners at your house, you can give them some antenna like this. So this is a cute little keepsake, something you can put on the fridge. Instead of paper towels, you can also use a coffee filter. If you have white coffee filters, it works just the same way. Color on it with markers and spray it with water. My coffee filters were brown. So, so we use the paper towels. There are some other more educational based activities that you can do together. One of them, I'll put a link in the comments to our awesome friends at the STEM laboratory. They have this really cool printout of the life cycle of a butterfly. And if you don't have a printer or ink in your printer like we do sometimes, you can always have your child draw this and recreate it. But it shows the life cycle of the egg, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and then the butterfly. You can color them all in in the life cycle and then you can even cut out the pictures and labels and maybe put it on some construction paper to make a hat if you wanted to. But it's another way to reinforce that life cycle of how the caterpillar develops into a butterfly. Going in order in a sequence is part of an early literacy skill. It's called sequencing. So another activity that you can do is take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and then cut four little sections on it. I used my computer to make this one. You can just handwrite it. But it's the life cycle of a butterfly in a sequence. It says first, next, then, and finally. First, there was an egg. Next, there was a caterpillar. Then, there was a chrysalis. And finally, there's a butterfly. So there's lots of different activities that you can do to talk about life cycle. There's also a ton of books and eBooks out there that talk about life cycles, both fiction and nonfiction. So like I said, check out the comment section. I'm gonna link a couple of websites that have really good resources that are free, that you can print from home or that you could just recreate by drawing with your child. I hope this inspires you for some springtime fun and we will be back, of course, tomorrow with some more stories. See you later, friends. Thank you so much for watching.